as an American, I think that uh, this country still might come out of the, this recession. I'm sure that it's bounced back in the past. I'm sure it will bounce back in, you know, how long it takes to do it. Um, we've had a, quite a few setbacks recently, but I think that uh, overall, this country, you know, if we get together and work, that we can make it happen and we'll get back to being, you know, if not on the top of the list, at least in the list. I feel for the future of this country that the most important thing is freedom and peace. As an American, I feel about the future of our country as um, it can go any way that the people choose to have it go. Um, it takes a conscious effort to, from everybody to make positive, um, like try to achieve positive goals with their lives. And I think it's just, it, it's all the individuals, we just need to con come to a consensus on where we want to go and what our real um, goals are with the world and domestically and internationally about um, war, uh, economics, and uh, just education, really. I think it's uh, we need to become less greedy and just focus more about um, bettering our lives as well as people around the world who aren't as as well off and don't have the freedoms we we have. So I feel that the more people um, look to help other people out besides themselves, we'll be better off and our future will be brighter than us just thinking solely about ourselves and what we want and what we can have. So it's just people they, they need to think more positively and just think about more people other than themselves a lot of the time. As a Mexican living in the United States in the present time, I feel that there are a lot of in economic interests that move politics, communication, and, um, and really the massive media that is involving us in this endless cycle and economic system of chaos. And the only thing that we are able to do to get out of this cycle is really to realize that the power within ourselves and the awareness that we as humans have to empower and overcome all this injustice that is created by the monetary industry. So the answer and the revolution should start within and so the basics should be covered, such as um, self-control, you know, self-reflection. Um, and so start with a platform within to realize the issues and the control that the system is taking over us. Well, I feel that we're about ready to have Armageddon uh, like Europe is having right now. London is absolute anarchy and for no good reason. Um, I believe that that's happening because people are unhappy. Uh, they're unhappy with their leaders. They're unhappy with what their leaders have offered them. But nobody is willing to take a stance about that. I think that we need to um, we need to fire the people that aren't serving us. If you suck, you're out. You're fired. And I think we need to start a movement. Remember when our government worked for free? Uh, our, our, our governors and our regulators all did that out of labor of love um, and not as a job and not as uh, political um, puppets. I think we, we need to take that back, and I think we need to um, take a little more active stance in what happens. Everybody is, is kind of like, la la la, uh, the Dow went down 600 points a day, uh, my life sucks. Well, that's wrong. You, you can't let things happen to you. You need to take responsibility for things that are happening to you. And if it doesn't work for you, don't let it happen. It's time that we let our leaders know that we're in control and we're not the followers. 
we elected you to do our bidding, and it's time that we uh, tell them what our bidding is. I, I think too many people just vote and feel like they did a great job. Oh, I voted. Mm -hmm. um, that's not the way it works. It, you need to be outspoken. You need to tell the people that you voted into office what you want. And that is their job. And if they don't do it, they are fired. Period.